Welcome back, friends. Uh, we're getting ready to check in with our West Coast bestie, Michael Babcock, to find out the headlines. I, was, I do love having TMZ live on during the day. I'm working usually still because I'm emailing and editing and whatnot. Yeah. But I love hearing uh, the stories with Harvey Levin and, and Charles and Charlie Neff and Michael Babcock getting, you know, I like to stay up to date. Up to date. And I think, I see we have Michael Babcock now. Michael, good morning. Hey, Jeremy. Can you hear me? How are you guys doing? Yes, How are you doing? Hi, good. I'm good. What's up, Maddie? We've missed you I, since what last week? Yes, it's last I, week. Yeah, well, I, I missed you guys. <laughs> it's too. been a long, lonely week without you. It's I'll been a long, no, I know. <laughs> lonely week. This doesn't feel often, uh, frequent enough. <laughs> How uh, you guys doing? How was everything? We're, we're doing so good. We were. I was. It's funny. Our producer told us the topics, and I'm not an Aaron Rodgers like follower or fan. Yeah. But I did know the story because it was ironic. He switched teams. He gets yeah. injured the first game. Yeah. Yeah. And then now this recovery. Yeah, it's it's absolutely miraculous. I mean, um, look, he goes down. It was like the fourth play of his New York Jets career. He's 39 years old, and he ruptures his Achilles tendon, and it's obviously a very serious injury. People, Jeremy, at the time were questioning whether or not he would ever play again. Forget wow. coming back this season. It's like there was question about him returning next season, and it, it doesn't obviously get easier as you get older. It gets harder. So. He goes, and, and this is the way I view this, he goes to the top doctor, this guy, Neil Elitraj. It's actually not far from where I am in uh, L.A. here now. And uh, he's the guy that's doing all of the surgeries on the top athletes these days. So he goes to him. He gets this top procedure, this new procedure done, something called a speed bridge that essentially makes the, uh, the healing quicker. It makes uh, re-injury less likely. So there's a lot of benefits here. So best doctor, the latest uh, you know, methods, and his, uh, Aaron's unrelenting approach to physical therapy and getting better. And because of that, I think that he is, uh, so I'm sorry, something's beeping like crazy. Um, he, I, hopefully you're playing video games, here. Michael. I, I, I know it. Yeah. Just, I, I got my <laughs> PlayStation know. going here now as I'm talking, uh, <laughs> which is a good idea. Um, so I, because of that, and we've talked to people, they, they literally, the way they put it was, he's in no man's land when it comes to healing. So he is in a place that nobody has ever been before, and wow. it's happening again. That's and, okay. We like uh, it. Can, can, you, can you hear it? We can. I love this it. Live, it's a soundtrack. Yeah. All right, so it's I a know, soundtrack. It's like a to our segment, Mario Aaron Brothers Rogers, Achilles. <laughs> so, so he, so yeah, so so I, so no man's land is the way that it was described to us, and uh, th there is a real chance that he comes back this season. The thing is, like the the Jets, the they're an okay team. You know, they got a good defense, but the offense is not good. If the Jets aren't any good and they're not in a position to make the playoffs, then there's no point to really rush him back and oh. risk mm -hmm. further hurting him. So, him coming back is is very reliant on the Jets playing well and being in a position where he can actually help them. So if that's the case, I, I'm starting to think you, you probably will see him again this year. And that was thought of as being impossible. Wow. Uh, weeks ago. I mean, this injury happened less than 60 days ago. And, and you're talking about him possibly coming what? back sometime soon. Wow. That's yeah. insane. That's crazy. I just remember in soccer, I overextended my Achilles once and it felt like just, um, <gasps> Like a, a like a rubber band going in and out every time you walked. It was right. so painful. That was just like overextending it. So right. Poof. Yeah, and, and imagine imagine that whole thing rupturing, Maddie, and, <sighs> and they have to go in there and surgery, and they've got to basically like, you know, re reattach it, and yeah. and it's got to heal. Then I mean, to think that that he's already walking around and he's throwing the football. I mean, he's already doing things that I didn't think were possible at this stage. So so Michael, yeah. wait, yeah, you're the expert. Time. You are the TMZ executive producer of sports. Yeah. You know this. What are the? What do you personally think? Do you think he'll be back this year to play? Just to say, I'll show I, you. I, I think it's very close to 50. I, I, I would say probably like 60, 40 yes is, is, wow. is what I'm feeling right now. Because I think he wants to do it and he's on pace. I don't. It's not going to be next week or the week after. Maybe sometime late December, something like that. But yeah, I... I, I lean towards yeah that he will wow. I, I do and I, I never would have said that you know even even two weeks ago right wow that's amazing was there any voodoo yeah. magic used right <laughs> probably, oh you know he did probably, voodoo probably Maddie, he drank the, the Tom Brady serum that everyone said that Tom Brady was drinking for so long there we go oh, yeah. <laughs> well you know he likes that the ayahuasca and yeah yeah I'm sure there have been crystals and oh yeah all of that yeah. I, I don't think <laughs> I think he probably used every everything available to him. Yes. Okay, so Matt, uh, let's, oh, sorry, I almost called him yeah. Matthew. Matthew, I'm sorry, no, Michael, I know, I know we, we'll move on to Matthew Perry. Yeah. 
Yeah, so uh, he was uh, buried on Friday, and uh, you know, you, you look at the pictures, and the, the you know, his friends cast was there, his family obviously, and it just looked like such a, a solemn event. And I think um, you know, a, a lot of those people obviously still in shock about um, you know what happened with Matthew. So he is uh, at a place called uh, Forest Lawn Cemetery in Los Angeles, and it's a place uh, where there are a lot of celebrities that are buried now. Uh, he is in this uh, secluded, this private area uh, of uh, the cemetery where there are a bunch of other big stars. I mean, we're talking about people like uh, he's buried by uh, Carrie Fisher, Debbie Reynolds, Michael Clark Duncan. There are a bunch of other celebrities as well. And um, yeah, I mean, it's it's obviously just uh, still an, an incredibly difficult thing for his family and friends. Uh, it, you know, uh, there were and it's clear that uh, the family you know, they want this to remain private. I don't know that they want fans going out there right now. They had all of these floral arrangements that had been left over from the funeral. So that stuff was all there on Monday after the service was on Friday. And by Tuesday, everything was gone. And it, it does seem like, um, you know, they, they want to keep this to themselves right now. And they don't they don't want a whole bunch of people visiting like can be the case when a celebrity obviously passes away. And, uh, you know, fans will then flock to the gravesite. So I mean, it's it's still just an incredibly sad story. Mm -hmm. And do we know was he like actually buried, or was he cremated, or it, it, it's 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 um like uh, a mausoleum? It's it's uh, so he's you in know, the wall, right? The caskets are in the wall. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Because yeah. I, I was watching uh, ironically. I'm sorry. Go ahead, Michael. No, I'm sorry. Go ahead, Jeremy. I was just saying I was watching a TikTok live yesterday from a a fan who was at Forest Lawn. Yeah. And he was doing a TikTok live and trying to find, he was going to different celebrities' graves, but right. also looking for Matthew Perry's. Mm -hmm. And of course, me just, I wasn't curious about it too, so I'm like, but he was checking the whole wall, so I just assumed yeah. he was in yeah, the wall, but right. I didn't know if he was Th by celebrities or yeah. whatnot. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I, you know, I, I have not seen that one, but the, there, are, there are other of these cemeteries and, and you look at some of them, like, you know, you're, you're looking and you look like Dean Martin on the wall. I mean, it's, uh, it, it's remarkable and, um, you know, Forest Lawn is one of those places that has a, a lot of big celebrities. And um, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, we'll see. Maybe at some point his, his family says, OK, you know, this is where the, uh, the, the, the gravesite is located and the fans would like to go out there. Is it marked yet even? Does it no, have, it's not right say, now. No, it's not marks. right now. Yeah. So you know, a lot of times, obviously, this just happens. It's only a few weeks now. I assume they're probably getting something made and then they will put it on the on the uh, the gravesite. But maybe they won't and and uh, and that's how it uh, you know sort of remains private because nobody knows where it is hmm. yeah interesting and do we but, know but not, how yeah, the right. rest of the friends gang is doing I, i've heard that uh, jennifer aniston is taking it really yeah. hard uh, yeah i mean i i've i have we have you know uh, as far as i know uh, i definitely haven't talked to any of them but uh, yeah I, th I think i think it's just shock because he was yeah. doing well i think yeah. you know that's yeah. that's the thing about this here it's like you know matthew's got a lot of good things going for him right now and he had plans for the future and i think that's what made this uh, harder to swallow because he was in a good place and mm -hmm. it's just you know it's like you know he was he was in a bad place in in times uh, during his life and it it wasn't the case now, and it's just it's unfortunate. You kind of say, you know, you know what, why did this have to happen? It's yeah, yeah. Uh, you know. So, so you got to imagine that, that that they're just all besides themselves, beside themselves, and, and that's what we've heard too. Yeah. Um, all right. Well, thank you, Michael. It's yeah, good to see good you. To talk to you. It was great to see you guys. I'm, so, I'm sorry with the downer topic. Anyway. No, I know. That's all right. Okay. I'll see you next week. Okay. All Bye. right. You can catch TMZ weekdays at 5 p.m. and TMZ Live weekdays at 2 p.m. And speaking on ending on a low net, I'm going to bring you back up with some serotonin right after this. Because <laughs> I have some opinions on it.